The Daily Object Show is one of the most impressive shows out there, it's surprising that Fusion is able to create such great episodes in one day, this show is one of the most distinct shows out there, and it has a very interesting storyline, in the first episode of Cult of Cobalt we are introduced to the super objects, water, cloud, fire, tree, and cobalt blue, while cobalt had a whole season about him, the rest of the super objects got no mention apart from this one scene, so here's my theory. The super objects are gone, and their power has been transferred to different objects, let me explain. Let's go to the first episode of TDOS, the challenge was to grief a house, while the other contestants just punched the house, water bottle summoned a wave to destroy it, so I assume bottle has some connection with the water super object. Now moving on to the second person, in daily dash, magma bucket is seen controlling magma with his hands, to me it's a sign that he also has powers, connecting him with the fire super object, but fire might have some connections to scat, since they both wear the same glasses. Moving on to cobalt blue, I believe his powers were transferred to cobalt mini, a villain from the daily object show mini, but moving on to the two super objects we don't have a clear connection about, starting off with cloud, cloud is seen using some sort of lightning bolt power, so let's think, who has electric powers, it could be computer, as he is seen creating some sort of thunder attack through his elimination spheres, but those lasers are white, while clouds thunders are yellow, I think it could be Despacito Pill, in Daily Dash, when he started singing Despacito, his body glowed yellow, this could just be some sort of aura given to him while singing, but it could be the thunder powers, and for the last one, Tree, I'm not really sure, as far as I know, no one ever used plant powers in the Daily Object Show, so if you have a theory on who Tree could be related to, let me know.